Growth Designers, here's Raphael Paquin at Life Growth Designs. Um, I'm really excited to talk about aerobic exercise, um, about fat burning in uh, the, the way that Tony Robbins means it. If you've uh, been to any Tony Robbins events, you've probably heard about fat burning lifestyle. And that has very much to do with diet, which I won't get too much into now, and um, a lot to do with the type of exercise you do every day. Um, this is for those who are looking to have more energy, vitality, um, overall feeling of strength in their lives, uh, where much exercise will actually take that away. <laughs> Anaerobic exercise will use your energy stores, whereas aerobic activity will build them up. Um, so Tony Robbins, if you're not familiar with him, he, he is somebody t who can energize 10,000 people for hours on end. He does it for entire weekends, um, you know, 14, 15, 18 hours a day, um, nonstop, high energy. And the way he does it is this. This is the secret to his success. And um, this uh, this might sound like a lot. It is a bit of an athlete's lifestyle, uh, but it's only energizing. <laughs> if you start off feeling that this is a lot to take on, uh, it, it will very shortly become a must in your life. Uh, I no longer have to plan my jogs. If I don't plan enough in a week, uh, I make them happen anyway. I take my free time and say, let's go for a jog. Um, I need this strength and energy every day. So aerobic exercise means, aerobic means, with oxygen. Anaerobic means without oxygen. Um, if you're part of the high intensity interval training, you will know about anaerobic exercise and depleting the, the stores of oxygen in your body. Um, right now I'm talking about, which also has its benefits, but right now I'm talking about aerobic in, in bringing oxygen to the body. Um, in, um, I'll, I'll talk about the basic way to do it and then we can talk about the actual numbers in your heart frequency. So uh, to, to be with oxygen in order to fill your heart, your lungs and your heart and your blood with oxygen. The best way to do this and to begin burning fat, um, great if you're trying to lose weight, but also great if you want to have high energy all day long. Um, sugar, you, you'll get off the sugar roller coaster um, where you, you eat sugar because you're feeling down and then insulin comes in and brings you back down again and this up and down. Not to mention the insulin likes to store fat, it likes to t teach your body to store fat. So what you'll do is, um, I, I would take an hour uh, a day in to, to spend about 10 or 15 minutes warming up and 10 or 15 minutes at the end cooling down. Um, I spend an hour and 15 minutes uh, total. And in the middle, you'll be walking at a pace that um, you'll know you're an aerobic if you, you feel everything really moving. Uh, at the same time, you can talk without huffing and puffing too much. That's actually what you're after is that zone. Um, to be a little more specific, um, you you first measure what your maximum, um, what your measurement heart rate is, and that would be taking the number two hundred and twenty, and subtracting your age. And then you have your maximum heart rate. Um, now, if you want to uh, know what your aerobic training heart rate is, you take one hundred and eighty and subtract uh, your age from it, and then you have your aerobic heart rate. You're, that's about 70% of your maximum. And uh, for your warm-up and cool-down, it's about 60%. So to give you an idea, um, I'm now 44. I was 42 um, when I first circled this. And you can see that at my age, uh, my aerobic rate is 126 beats per minute to 136 beats per minute. Um, and then you have your warm up and cool down um, at 86 and 96. So you could get a you know a, an inexpensive watch, or um, I have um, something that straps around my chest um, that connects to my cell phone um, because I do like to try to stay in that zone as much as possible. Instead of getting there as fast as I can when I'm jogging, I actually see how many minutes I can stay in that time in that heart zone. Um, and that's my challenge, to keep a nice, steady heart zone. Um, it, it can get much more complicated than that. Um, why you want to do this? So Tony Robbins was inspired by Stu Middleman. Um, Stu Middleman walked across the U.S., uh, he jogged across the USA. Um, he, he ran a thousand miles and felt better uh, at the end of it than he did at the beginning. He, he beat the, the record by a few days <laughs> in that competition. So, um, and, and he uses diet, right? Um, and he uses aerobic exercise. And he helps people who, you know, might be uh, 
the standard desk businessman and brings him to be able to, in a short time, to be able to run a marathon and to feel good afterwards. And the, the secret is bringing them into the aerobic rate and teaching them to exercise in that. Um, he has an extra. He has an extra category. He has the lower aerobic and he has upper aerobic. Um, so if you were training for a marathon, you might run five days a week with the lower zone, and you might move up to the higher zone. It's a little more complicated in his system. Um, it's a great book. I would say um, you don't need it to use these principles. Um, it's an interesting read if you like to read information. Um, so the, the reason Tony, Tony Robbins heard about him and thought, wow, my lifestyle, I'm on the road all the time. I, I work so hard for so many hours. Um, this is what I need. I need that kind of energy. He wanted to have that kind of energy. So what he did is he um, met with Stu and learned how to do this. And um, so it's the secret to Tony's success. Um, later came his more, more refined dieting uh, principles, but uh, basically using um, a bit like the Tim Ferriss slow carb diet um, with lots of vegetables. Um, Tony Robbins recommends 70% of the volume of what you eat being salads. Um, and it, it, in many of the diets nowadays, it's more and more, even ketosis, I'm in a ketosis diet right now, which is pure fat burning, um, though I, I do eat a salad every day, so um, it's a much healthier version for me. Um, Tony is, talks a lot about the alkaline in your diets, and that, that is a nice balance for me. So the diet, a, a low-carb, no-sugar diet, and... Um, doing this every day will teach your body to adapt to burning fats more than the, the carbohydrates. Um, even in ketosis, I do eat carbohydrates and burn carbohydrates, of course, but very few. Um, if you are a runner and are interested in this type of running, um, say you want to run a marathon, uh, be aware if you spend too much time going over, um, your, your performance levels will go down. So please practice practice this zone. Um, if, you're, if you're on a low-carb diet and trying to, to sugar burn in your jogging um, and you're running, you, you won't feel good. Um, if you're somebody doing a lot of high-intensity interval training, this might not be the best move for you. Um, because you do need the carbohydrate stores in your in your body to uh, do those things. Swimming, for example, might be if you're a swimmer, um, uh, unless you're doing aerobic swimming, which is another activity I do um, for aerobic activity. If you're an aerobic swimmer, fine. Um, if you're somebody who's swimming all out, it, you're using a lot of energy very quickly, um, and your body can reach the the glyc glycocal in in the muscles. Um, you have them anyway if you're a fat burner, uh, and in fact you you you'll make them from protein. So if you're if you're doing swimming, you, your numbers might go down a little bit until you adapt, um, and then you can make sure you're getting enough protein because your muscles, your body will churn the protein into sugar. Um, it, it can't do that with fat. It'll so uh, if the protein isn't there, it'll take it from your muscles, and then you don't want it all. So so again, just to run through um, aerobic aerobic exercise is for high vitality, high energy. It does not exclude the other types of exercise. I do do those as well. Um, this is what I do to get younger. This is what I do to have more energy all day long. This is what I do to get more done in less time. Uh, I can't not afford I, I can't, I, if I have a lot to do, I have to go jogging first. Um, I can't afford to not go jogging. I, I, I don't have enough time to not go jogging. It's how I have sustained energy throughout the day. Um, I'm not, I'm no longer on the roller coaster of sugar. And I can't say enough about that lifestyle. Um, if you're not ready to go to a no sugar lifestyle, there, there are many steps in between um, and you know adding more salad to your to your plate starting with you know a quarter of your plate every day being sugar uh, <laughs> instead of being sugar being salad um, most importantly though is if you're trying to be energetic it's, so many clients I talk to they want they they're exercising for energy they want to be more powerful in their days and what's happening is they're exhausted from their workouts and this is why if you have any questions, PM me. Please subscribe. I have many new videos on their way. Uh, I'll be trying to get one out a week. Thank you, Life Growth Designers. I'll be seeing you. Take care. Bye.